We are on the road once again, the TSUS Tour 2022 version, heading to beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Some folks refer to it as the Dirty Myrtle. First time I've been to Myrtle Beach since like 2015, man. Cannot wait. A lot of great Gamecocks up there. We've never been to this location, by the way. Uh, can't wait to hang out with you guys. Stopping first at Carolina Ale House in Columbia. We got to pick up some marketing materials, if you will. Might stop by Total Wine, pick us up some stogies for the weekend. Because why not? Why not? Stopping by Todd and Moore <clears throat> to drop off some koozies. And I think, I'm pretty sure, the new Beamer Ball shirts are on the rack. Latest shipment. Really exciting stuff, guys. Great day to have a day. Hell of a day to have a Thursday. Staying the night in Myrtle Beach. Going to the beach tomorrow. It's just going to be a great weekend, man. Let's go on a journey together, shall we? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. First stop, Cola Ale House. Next stop, Myrtle Beach Ale House. See, we're at Todd and Moore. Had to make the quick pit stop on the way to Myrtle. Just dropped off the Beamer Ball Welcome Home koozies. T-shirts have been dropped off as well. They should be getting those on the shelves today up to sizes 4X. Again, appreciate these fine folks at Todd and Moore, man. It's incredible to get the merchandise in any location at retail, but certainly Todd and Moore, a place that is such a staple in Columbia. It's incredible, man. Now we hit the road, Myrtle Beach bound. Here we come. On the way to Myrtle, figured why not stop by Rivals, the store divided, home to TSUS merch. My first time over here. We're about to check it out. You can see we got the merch on the rack. I see why they reloaded, by the way, on merch with this latest order, because they are run out. About to load them up with some Beamer Ball hats, some QB1 shirts. So we're going to get them right. We're going to get them right. We have officially arrived at Dirty Myrtle in the airbnb about to drop off the bags head over to ale house get this thing popping man it's about 4 30 right now so uh about an hour and a half till we really get rocking but uh dude i'm excited to be a myrtle man excited really pumped to be a myrtle beach so let's run it before we get rocking tonight you know something really cool happened today i was sitting there at carolina ale house columbia in harbison and we were talking about this event tonight in myrtle beach and the bartender said, are you going to Myrtle for, for pleasure or for business? Work or for play? And I stopped and I said, you know, both. I said, my work is play. My business is pleasure. What a blessing that is, you know what I mean? And I think that's how you really know that you found something. You found your calling. That is, that is Dharma, right? That is Dharma. Like doing something finding your purpose serving others in your purpose while also getting peak joy and fulfillment out of said purpose that is your dharma that is where we all strive to be and it's taken a lot of hard work and a lot of grueling grueling hours and blood sweat and tears and everything else in between but i'm i'm blessed and fortunate to say that i think i found my dharma and i've talked about that before but it's like each and every single day, each and every single month, each and every single year as we continue to elevate and grow and evolve and get better and sharpen and everything else. You continue to realize that more and more and more and more. And that is the fun part. The joy is in the journey, right? So find something you're truly passionate about. Become grossly obsessed with it. If you're on that journey, if you're searching for fulfillment, if you're searching for something, your dharma, right? We should only be so fortunate to all find that and to realize that and it be something that can be self-sufficient and um, we allow to inspire us in our day-to-day -day lives. So what a vibe to go into the night on as we drive through downtown Myrtle Beach, heading to Hollywood Drive. Great night to have a night. Always keep perspective and always keep gratitude. Lead with it, lead with it, let it guide you go far. And quite frankly, what I want to win. Big ups to Alehouse Myrtle Beach. 
that was a vibe that was a blast man that was a blast shout out to all those who came out had a great time dude had a great time great fellowship tons of great game cocks now we're about to go check out bravo in the beach for just a second we got to record tomorrow's show obviously but uh i'm gonna enjoy some myrtle while i'm here but that was incredible man i i can't express enough how grateful i am for all those i mean it's just it's y'all allow me to live my dream you know what i mean like it's it's just <sighs> such a blessing such a blessing man so yeah so happy Broadway on the beach, man. Only one like it in America. This shit is one of one out here. Wild. Wild. Bro, oh, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. What is this? Bro, I ain't been a Myrtle seven years ago, and I don't really remember any of it. It's like I'm at a new place. Look at this. The dirty Myrtle. <laughs> All right, what's up, ladies and gents? This is what happens when you wake up super, super late and you're on tour. You gotta improvise. We are at Burger King in Myrtle Beach, somewhere in Myrtle. We're gonna knock out some stuff really quick. Uh, upload some merch, upload the podcast, and then and then we're gonna hit the beach. Then we're gonna hit the beach, but we gotta get the content <laughs> uploaded and going before that. So, um, like I said, you gotta improvise. So we'll get after it. We'll have us a hell of a day, though, man. Beach day today. Cannot wait. Might run into a uh, big cock club member while we're at it. Gonna be a good time. All right, Lance. You gotta say hey to the vlog. Hey, what's up, baby? On the latte, son. On, on, <laughs> on, the, on the latte's pick. <laughs> Saturday update in the stew. We've been getting after it today. Um, getting ready for our season simulation series to start tomorrow. We've been chopping up content in the studio as well. We've got our brand new label machine for all of our merchandise that we will fulfill out of HQ. Um, that being mainly the towels and the koozies. Never know. We might have some t-shirts, hoodies, what have you in the future. Um, I would not rule it out. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, big recruiting weekend. Shane Beamer and the boys are absolutely crushing and uh, been getting ready for another week. And of course, the TSUS tour continues to roll on. Really excited for this one, man, in downtown Greenville. Uh, obviously just moved to the city, so the first one in a new city, and I think it's going to be a blast. Man. I think there's going to be a lot of folks out there. I think the crowd is going to be incredible. Uh, first of two shows, first of two stops, by the way, in Greenville. We got the downtown location and then Woodruff Road. Um, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. 
we're flipping the calendar also. It is Saturday, July the 30th. So I'm gonna flip my calendar. I'll show you guys in a second what that looks like when it's completed, what the calendar looks like. But I do have a dry erase calendar that we kind of you know keep everything on, keep everything organized. You know, when you're creating the amount of content we create, you gotta keep that all organized. So I'm just trying to think what else? Did I miss something today? I don't think so. I don't think so. Other than that, again, we're just staying thousand miles an hour. We're working on, oh, retail locations. Yeah, we're working on other retail locations, getting the merch in retail locations. I won't say anything yet right here until it's officially announced. But uh, this one we're working on, we're trying to solidify and I think it's gonna happen. Gonna be huge, gonna be an absolute game changer, especially for those local in Columbia and that's the only hint I'm gonna give you. So either way, we're rocking and rolling. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. And uh, the vlog rolls on behind the beak. It's beautiful. The month of August. Football is back in August. And as you can see, we've got it all planned out. Content, events, Carolina Alehouse Tour, Welcome Home, South Carolina Football Series. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. This type of stuff fires me up. You flip the calendar. It's just a sign that further that further hammered, hammers down the fact that football is here. The season is here, right? I'm a big calendar guy, though, as you can tell. We got the whole thing. This is what the TSUS calendar looks like, in case you ever wondered, if you ever stayed up late at night wondering, what does the calendar look like? This is it. Of course, this can be subject to change. That's why it's a dry erase calendar, right? We add interviews. We we take things off. We change things. We, we uh, reschedule things, move things around. But for the most part, this is what you can expect in the month of August. And then, of course, this week right here, that's obviously July 31st. This week right here, game week. We're so close. We are so close. So close. I'm fired up. I love it. Get you a calendar if you don't have one. Absolute necessity. All right, so it's Tuesday morning. About to get our towels, our packages all sent out thanks to our brand new label machine. Shout out my guy, Brett Cianci of Pick 6. First hard copy for him. Um, about to get towels out, about to get koozies out. We're heading to Columbia tomorrow for the final 10 roof show. Picking up more towels. Merch is flying uh, today, though, again, in the immediate future. About to send off all these packages. We're about to go find our local post office, and hopefully this will be the post office we use for everything. Um, we got an interview at 1030 with Jamie Shaw, the guy who broke everything with the Gigi Jackson stuff. We got Dante Reno, four-star quarterback. Commitment coming on TDC. Dude, a lot of big things happening. I mean, I know I say all the time, content bleeding out the eyeballs and, and how busy we are, but man, it really is rocking and rolling now as we sit 32 days from kick. Dude, we're about a month away from kickoff, so uh, it's pretty wild, but uh, and I figured why not? I'd rock some different merch today. You see, it's not, not the Beamer Ball, Beamer Rattler, whatever, because I feel like I've got about 30, really not even 30, probably like 25 days to rock all the other merch in my closet because after that like it's pretty much just going to be beamer rattler beamer ball that's going to be the merch we rock every day pretty much so uh no nah, it's a great day to have a day though great to have a tuesday let's get after it. in case you ever wondered what the tdc setup looks like we're in the middle of our first five minute break you see we're chilling here in the stew man got a huge day this will be the last recording of this week's behind the beat by the way but uh Huge day, man. We're heading to Columbia basically right after this. Final 10 roof show. Uh, you guys will see more of that on next week's Behind the Beak. Going to be an emotional night, man. I was I was kind of emotional thinking about it this morning just to think that uh, all the shows we've done and, and the uh, the personal and professional growth, man, at, at uh, because of the 10 roof opportunity. So we got that. Downtown Greenville tomorrow night. TSUS tour continues to roll and just really excited for everything that's happening, man. I appreciate y'all. Again, love rocking with TDC, man. It's such a blast. We got my boy Brett Cianci at his Pick 6 Previews magazine. But nah, I love rocking with TDC, man. It's it's awesome and crazy and so, so dope. So cool to see what TDC's turned into. Uh, and I appreciate y'all, man. All the love. So we stopped by Todd Moore. It was a vibe. One final time, man. At Tin Roof, we're gonna knock this thing out. Cannot wait, cannot wait. I think it's gonna be an emotional night, honestly, but uh, 
excited for it. That's it, folks. That's a wrap on it. Tin Roof, Columbia, man. Thank y'all for the memories. Thank y'all for the experience. And thank y'all for the opportunity. Incredible. Incredible. What a year plus it has been. Rocking on this stage. Blessing, man. I, I can't wait for what's next. I'm excited for that, too. But uh, when you take a second and you reflect,